Doctors and welcome to another open out of this race is our part. You join me today in Mourne Firth in Yorkshire, right in the heart of summer wine country. And it doesn't get much more summer wine than being stood outside Sid's Cafe, the Armour. This whole area that was stood in this little courtyard, the steps in front of me, the steps to the side of me, have all been used in many, many episodes of Last of the Summer Wine, with the trio going up to various uh, little shindicks. So, let's go and see if we can see any more locations, shall we? Now one thing I'm good glad to see is that Ivy has got a food ra hygiene rating of 5, which is very good. Now behind me is the clock tower to the uh, main church in Old Firth that you've just seen from the main road. And this uh, rather ornate tower has been used on many skyline shots in Last of the Summer Line. We're now going to make our way up these windy little uh, narrow streets that you don't see in the uh, TV series. I'm now stood at Compost front door and above me is uh, the famous Nora Batis front door which we're going to have a little look at. So let's see if she'll chase me off shall we? Now this is the famous Nora Batty's front door. Many times she would come out here with a sweeping brush and shoot compo down the stairs. A bit like this. Now fans of uh, the series will remember the character Wally Batty. There was along this wall where his uh, little pigeon loft used to be and then they, they removed it as the season went on after he'd, uh, after he'd passed away. Nora Batty's house is now the guest house, and you can actually stay there and get service with a sneer apparently. Now just before you get to Nora Batty's cottage is uh, the last of the summer wine exhibition. And it's well worth a visit. Me and my uh, good lady wife visited it previously. When inside they've got all the props and photographs from the series. And uh, it's well worth a visit. I can uh, guarantee you will have a good time. We're now at the Church of St John's in uh, Upper Thong. And this church behind me has been used as a filming location for Last of the Summer Wine in many series. But it was in one of the very early series that the actor Bill Owen, who played Compo, stated to one of his fellow actors that he would like to be laid to rest in this churchyard, uh, not knowing that it would be many years from then. Anyway, we're going to have a little look at his grave now, shall we, and pay our respects. Now the grave in front of me is where Bill is actually laid to rest, overlooking the Orn Valley there, and he's got a uh, lovely spot here. Now this one here, on the other side of me, is a little garden that uh, they created so that fans of the show of Last of the Summer Wine can come and lay little tributes and uh, memorandums to Compo. There was a set of uh, big wellies on here, concrete wellies at one time, but those have since disappeared since I was last here. It's uh, rather sad that in some respects this area isn't kept as tidy 
as it was when it was first opened. And I believe there has been some sort of conflict with the church authorities because this pit belongs to Tom and his son. And it's widely known that uh, Tom and his father Bill didn't get on. Uh, rather sad, really. Anyway, we'll move on, shall we? Well, no visit to Ormfirth will be complete without a visit to Compost Cafe. So we're just going to go inside now and uh, place our order of fish and chips. Well, there we are. A whale of a fish and a bucket load of chips. That's one uh, thing you, I'll guarantee you always get in Yorkshire. So I'm going to tuck in now and, uh, and enjoy my dinner. So until the next time, bye-bye for now.